Good morning. This is going to be day three of the DragCon vlog. This is Sunday. I have my Dunkin' Donuts. I'm outside Donabelle. They're making my breakfast sandwiches. I got two because they are absolutely delicious and I want to start the day off right. Carson Presley and Ross Matthews. One has to just be so thankful to see that's RuPaul up there doing his thing, DJing. All the music that was playing at this point was being DJed by RuPaul himself. And it's nice to see some of the past videos that he's done over the decades and decades and decades come to life in front of you. So just amazing and many, many thanks to this fabulous man. Glad to meet Tasha Cole. I'm going to see him November 8th. Come see him in New York City. Thank you so much. Oh my god, love you. Bad enabler on YouTube. I bad, do, bad enabler? Bad enabler? Like bad, like kind of. Oh, good. bad enabler. Yeah, okay. I do like hauls and skincare and anyway. Um, James St. James is absolutely amazing. If you, I talked about Party Monster many, many times. You are the bad enabler though. You have been corrupting me all day long. Love him. Uh, if you haven't read it, pick up a copy. And he also has Freak Show which is amazing as well. Buy the book, buy the book, go to Amazon. Yay, oh my God. Thank you so much. Come on, come on. <laughs> this is Coco Peru. Hello. You have to watch her channel. She has the best videos. They're hysterical. And please keep making them forever and ever because I can't get through a day without you. Oh, that ball, this is my... <laughs> Love you. Hugs. Uh, have a great day. Shit. Mama Ru is leaving. Hey, what happens when you have way too much stuff to be able to do an on-the-go haul? That means you have to go home and do the haul from there. So, um, but before going home, I got myself another Dunkin' Donuts pumpkin dark roast coffee just to help things out. And now, the haul. This is everything that I picked up at DragCon 2019, New York City, the Sunday, the third day. And here we go. So one, this is, oh, by the way, I'm going to do a separate video, a separate haul video of everything from DragCon. Everything, everything, everything that I picked up. So the candle, the fragrances, the conjure chop, you name it. Everything that I picked up is going to be in one separate video because I've got, I picked up a lot of stuff over the three days. So, and all of it is good. One of the things that I picked up for free was poopery. You know that I purchased this before. I purchased this at Bed Bath & Beyond and at QVC. This one is spritz the bowl before you go and no one else will ever know. Here you go. It's a little on-the-go sample. I should have more of these in my bag somewhere. If I see them, then it means that I was given more of them. If not, then so be it. A free one is a free one, and that's great. I don't know if this is in my video from day two, but I have it next to me, so I'm going to include it in this one. I picked up four lip balms. They were buy three, get one free. It's from a company called Rose and & Company, and this is in the scent Slay, which is a chai scent. I've been using this one, and I picked up two additional Slays, and one that, yes, there you go. So the one is, yes, it's a pina, pina colada scent. So I picked up four of these lip balms. I'm going to keep this one separate because that's the one that I already started to use. You know that I don't like to have multiples open of the same item. This way they don't go expiring. If you want to see expiration date video on Bath & Body Works, that's a separate video. I actually have two of them. One is the original one and then one is the updated one. By all means, enjoy. Another thing I picked up was, now this was free. I wish that they'd give me a box of these so I can give them out to people. But uh, this is, it's called U Equals U is the name brand or the thing that they were promoting. It's a lipstick with sparklies, but it's also, if I could uncap it, it's a pen. So you write with a sparkly lipstick and it's a pen. Well, that was very cute. Though that would make a really cute gift for somebody. Not a gift like a Christmas gift, but a gift like, here you go, I think you would enjoy this. Enjoy it and write something nice for me, you know? So there's that. Now, I also, well, here's my pass from today, the weekend pass, yay. I went by the Chaz Dean stand, Chaz Dean Wen Care, and the people there were super, super nice to me and remembered me because yesterday while I was there, he like completely, he did everything. So he put this mist on me, he demattified, he, no, he mattified me, he de-glossed me, or he de, he de-glossified me, and he made me matte, just with a spray. So today when I went by, the people were super, super nice. Not only did they give me another bag with the regular samples in it, but they gave me, because they knew I liked the fragrances, they gave me a bunch of the fragrance samples. And I mean, when I say a bunch, I literally mean more than a bunch. I mean like in a, a beautiful amount, not even ridiculous, a beautiful amount of fragrance samples. They're mostly in the scent of love, which uh, is great because, you know, everybody say love. So that's just amazing sauce. And 
because of what they did for me yesterday, because of what they did with the demo and whatnot, because of what, sorry, because of what Chaz did yesterday. They gave me a full size. I, I don't know if he put it on the side, I don't know what happened, but the two items that he used on me, they gave me a full size of each of them, which I think is just wonderful and sweet and kind. One is Fall Fresh Apple. It's the Replenishing Treatment Mist. This is six fluid ounces. And the other one is Ultra Nourishing Texturizing Treatment Spray. Lemon, Rosemary, Vanilla Bean. Apparently, you can like use this whoever, wherever. It's just nourishing, so you could use it on your scalp. So that's what they said. I am I'm for it. That was very, very sweet of them. Hey, you know what? Beautiful people do beautiful things. Pay it forward. Be nice to other people. And that's just awesome sauce. One of the things that I really enjoy about DragCon is that everyone just appreciates everyone. It's beautiful to see someone like RuPaul, who started a show, well, he's done so much over his years, but he started a show 10 years ago, 11 years ago, that now teenagers and tweenagers and everyone watches it, appreciates it, and just appreciates the differences in other people instead of, instead of just focusing on what they have in common. I think that's really nice if you could appreciate the differences in someone. So anyway. Additionally, I got a holiday gift for somebody that I'm friends with that I can't show on air because I don't know if they watch this channel, so I don't want to ruin the holiday gift. I also did my Contra Chop haul. So, Contra Chop, if you, I think, I'm sure they do this in the stores actually. The bags are beautiful and they have purple tissue that usually goes on top, but there's so much stuff in here that the purple tissue got smushed because I was playing with everything. So, Contra Chop, here's a little slogan. Now, the one thing that I actually say that I should have done, so it's not necessarily regret, because I don't like regretting things, but I'll say I should have done, I should have taken a video with Marianne because she's just lovely, and I just didn't think, I just, I don't know. When it comes to my friends, because there were, I had two friends behind me with, when I was with Coco Peru, but I didn't do video with them, they just happened to be in the background. So, and with Marianne, I didn't do video with her, but I got her shop. So, I don't know, I think sometimes I'm reluctant to ask people in case they say, no, I don't want to. But then once in a while I just get the, the, the urge, like say with Tadric Hall and say with, with James St. James, where I know this is my only opportunity. I'd get one shot. Like, don't mess it up. So with some people, I just say, you know what, go for it. And sometimes I'm reluctant and then friends of whoever I'm with says, go for it. And they push me and then I have to. So anyway, I digress. So the lovely Conjure Chop uh, hooked me up. I got, I made a good haul. And here is, here is the haul. So because I have a bathtub and I usually, knock on wood, I want a bathtub wherever I live because I want the ability to take baths. I picked up, this is a blood orange bath bomb. Blood orange bath bomb, amazing. It looks like a, looks like a, I don't know what shape this is, but it's like a trapezoid, but around the trapezoid. So, uh, so this is blood orange. This is autumn frig, autumn frig, autumn fig. Yummy, yummy. The colors are really beautiful on them too. Also picked up, this is Everybody Say Love, like I said earlier, a RuPaul statement. It's a rainbow soap, a rainbow soap. There you go. And it, it just, these items smell absolutely delicious. I just can't with them. It just, this was the sweetest, sweetest thing. So, Everybody Say Love. Um, one, two, three bar soaps of Everybody Say Love. What else did I pick up? Um, the scrub that I liked a lot, the face scrub, that you could also use, well, the face scrub, lip scrub, everything scrub made with honey, natural preservative. So this won't go bad, love this. Picked up that, also picked up, so I finally said, you know what, I want some of the bar soaps because I have one bar soap in the bathroom and it is in the shape of a stone. It looks like, it looks like a really pretty stone. But I said, you know what, I, I love Conjured Shop's products, let me try some of the actual bar soaps in my bathroom because I don't want it to just, I don't want the bar soap to just look nice. I want it to be something that I enjoy actually using. So that being said, this is lavender infused. It's called Daydreamer. It smells, it smells like a pleasant dream. I think if you use this before bedtime, it'll be wonderful. Look at that. It looks like something that you would get from Lush Shop, but this is small. This is a mom and pop company, you know what I mean? And it's just fantastic. So this is like the original Lush was basically, but better because they have Th probably three ingredients. Anyway, uh, sorry, they have like six ingredients. Uh, oils of olive, palm, coconut, shea butter, tea tree essential oil, activated charcoal, six ingredients. That's it. So anyway, this one is called Molly McGuire. It's tea tree and activated charcoal, so it's gonna have that warming effect. Super pretty, super, super pretty. We'll go with almost any decor. Ugh, Atlanta. This one is rosemary and, rosemary and spearmint. Smells like, literally, smells like spearmint chewing gum. 
and it's called May Queen. Go on that website, I believe, uh, I believe each of these was six dollars. Go on that website and check out the soaps because if you are a soap person, you will likely enjoy these. And also, finally, just a couple of things left. Hold on, I put the soaps back in the bag. And so they had some items that I normally did, well, that I have yet to pick up. Not that I normally don't pick up, but that I have yet to pick up. So I finally picked them up. One is Muse. This is a perfume oil in Muse. Muse contains jojoba oil, rosemary essential oil, and lemon essential oil. It just, oh, it smells, it smells like a, like a backyard dream. Does that make sense to you? It smells like some, why is that? Why does it smell like a backyard dream? What are the ingredients? Jojoba, rosemary, lemon. It smells like the, it smells like a backyard, but a fantasy backyard. Maybe where you eat like an abundance of lemons and an abundance of rosemary. I don't know, but it just smells delicious. So I'm happy about that. So finally tried that. Maybe one day I'll try the body oil, not sure. Also picked up Howl at the Moon. Wolves don't lose sleep over the opinions of sheep. This is Howl at the Moon. It's a perfume oil and it's made with jojoba oil, fragrance oil, orange essential oil. That's it. So let's give it a smell. Ooh, it's orangey, but not like it's a beautiful orange. It's kind of like a tan, no, not a tangerine, like a tangelo. Or a tangerine mixed with a blood orange. It's interesting and different and not, it doesn't smell like an orange cleaner, which is my biggest issue with orange. I don't like things that smell like orange cleaner. So you know this is a good one if I actually picked it up. And then finally, because I had to, because it's one of my all time favorites and because it was there, Bewitching. You've seen this in many, many, many a video. I love Bewitching. It's jojoba oil, rose petals, lavender, sage, chamomile, spring floral, fragrance blend, rosemary essential oil, and lavender essential oil. This is literally one of my favorites of all time. I will seriously, oh, this is with English rose, violet, lilac, lily of the valley, lavender, and herbs. I cannot tell you how pleasant and how many compliments I get when I'm wearing Bewitching. I cover my body in bewitching body oil it's amazing if you're in Jim Thorpe you need to go there and pick and like clear them out of this if you order online and you don't add one of these to your cart you're missing out big time add one of these and add one of the body oils anyway um oh a note by the way so you will notice that oh I you will notice that I the only time you see me repeat things in my videos is when I absolutely love them I've done videos in the past of items that have you've seen me never mention them again because obviously I haven't really like loved them love them anyway Love them. Um, I did get something to try out. Um, this is Live by the Sun. This is not from The Conjured Shop. This is from True Spa, self-care center, True Spa. It's called Live by the Sun. There you go. It's called Light 2-in-1 Superfood Facial Serum and Moisturizer. I have to look at the ingredients and everything like that. It sounds like it's going to be amazing from what they said. I'm going to let you know. I'm going to read the ingredients. I've got a little packet thing right here. And we will come back to this. So, one more thing. There's more. There's more. All right. So, this is the VIP bag from DragCon. Little torch has the eye. That's pretty cute. What was in the VIP bag, you ask? Um, I believe that this is a risk something or other. And it says RuPaul's DragCon. There are pins. They say, Squirrel Friend, Glamazon, Kitty Girl. Hey, Kitty Girl. There you go. There's also, there's a decent amount in here. Hold on, I'll do that last. Oh, okay, I forgot that. There are buttons. RuPaul's Dragon NYC 2019. And World of Wonder, Let Freedom Reign. Right there. So that and that. Um, also inside of my bag is my Party Monster book. Meeting James St. James was incredible. I, I I was just floored by how nice he was and it, like it's just I'm just beyond so I love James St. James he autographed the book and everything like that so wonderful love and finally inside the bag was a jacket VIP I don't know if it has something on the back of it do you want to see the back of the jacket I'm sure you do so let's look at it together oh my lanta all right it does have something on the back. So that's the front, VIP. <sighs> that's the back. 
that's the back. Oh my Lanta. A big thank you to a big thank you uh, to one of my besties of all time. I thank you, thank you, thank you for hooking us up with the VIP passes. And by us, uh, it was me and two besties, and it was just amazing. Uh, today was just so much fun. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Sorry for the crunchies. This bag was over the top. So that is everything from the haul. Just a recap. If you want to check anything out that I mentioned today, I'm going to try to link everything in the comment, not in the comment section, in the description box. I'm going to try to link everything that I mentioned today in the description box down below, including Ebates link if you're shopping online or in store. If you want to see more of just good stuff and celebration of life and everything like that, and just vlogs and body care and face care and candles and scents and hauls and oh my, subscribe. <laughs> if you want to promote people being nice to each other and just goodness all around, then by all means, feel free to share this video because that's hopefully what came out of this video is just people being nice and celebrating everything. That being said, I'll let you go. Enjoy and see you in the next video. And XOXO, everyone. XOXO, 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 XOXO.